I'm gonna have you as well. I might even. Uh, this might be a bit hot running, that's all. I'll go in there. Yeah, it will fit in there a bit. Hmm. I don't want to upgrade this thing or something better. If I can dig out my Xeon for that server again, I'll have to stick the server in here. And she's a um that that in this thing. Yeah. I reckon that'd be better, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I might get the embedded system going again. I gotta put all the right drivers back on it though. So good Taiwanese made fans too. Hey, still the right. Ned's grease. That one's a bit stiff. All oh, Taiwanese but quality there, it's kind of cool. Might take these speakers off, I want to test these. These are part of the touch screen anyway, so. Infrared too. This must have been a remote on this thing. I just realised that, a remote. The uh, touch screen is a Japanese made Sanyo TM150X something A. So if I can, this is all right. That's the sink moss and the touch screen, I think. So I keep all these boards. I just want to change the screen itself. If I want to preserve a touch screen like it is, so it'd be nice to. This touch screen comes out. If I could find one of these on eBay or something cheap, just the screen itself to replace this one, then it'd be a bonus. it would still be a touch screen kiosk where you could just play your music. I want to try and preserve that, but for now I might just have to put a normal monitor in there. For if I can't get the ELA monitor in here and working properly, I might have to plug a keyboard and mouse into it. It won't be as authentic, but it'll get me out of trouble. Anyway, I'll get these speakers out. I want to test these. You know, I can make some room for me a uh, record player to store here in the meantime, because I don't have room at that house in town. Might get a little bit damaged, there's no um, where well, I can set it up over there, so I give it a test. He has got some nice records to the guy I got this TV and that record player from. So I'll look through all of this stuff. There's a couple of things that I've picked there. He's going to hold on for me. He's setting up for a big garage sale. He has, um, he does a picking. He's a guy in Melbourne. He gets record players and stuff and he comes up and picks them up and fixes them up and resells them. So, um, yeah, he's gonna hold, he's got another um, old wooden record player for me, he's gonna hold on to, and uh, there's records so he's gonna hold on to for me, and uh, pick out the best ones, but yeah, there's a couple of things there that I'm interested in that he's gonna hold for me. So, once he clears up some space in his garage sale, he can have more chances of digging stuff out of storage, he's got more room then, because it's, um, yeah, his backyard's not much bigger than now, so he's got four caravans, just chock a block full of all these antiques and stuff. Him and his wife go around picking all the antique shops around the joint. Anyway, let's uh, free up some space for this uh, record player. Might cover this TV. I'll put the record player up here. Hmm, aren't they cute? <laughs> AAT, 8 ohms, 2 watts. Cute little things. Anyway, we'll test them when we get home. Whack them on a little Kinto amplifier. Okay, viewers, that sounds a bit like Kyle like tweeters. Basic tweeters, they are. Got about two millimeters of movement in the voice coil there. Turn that flat out. These are about the sort of speakers you get in today's standard flat panel LCD TVs. It's about as good as speakers you would get in TVs nowadays. <laughs> Jeez, they make good tweeters at least. I right, might use them as tweeter upgrades for a set of speakers I've got somewhere. We'll see. Ah, oh, let's see, I'll play something else. Something's got a bit of bass to it. Let's see. I'll find a good something that might not infringe copyright. <laughs> It's got some more power to it. About twice the amount of power, but this thing's got. This thing's bloody piss weak. 
Oh, well, for small speakers. It's got, it's got like a test tab if you don't want to drive speakers too hard. Like mainly, mainly older ones that aren't really high power rated. It's good for that. <laughs> Things got no power at all, this thing. This is the best. Don't go too long, so those voice calls are melting in no time. There we are. Tone, no um, enhancements. Turn that down. Classic upright distortion. They aren't too bad. They make good tweeters, so I keep them as tweeters. Cool. Whoa, like a small hot voice call. That's it. That little short test, like a small hot voice call will come up on those speakers. Yeah. Can't really drive them hard, but they will make good tweeters. That's all they'll be good for. So I'll hold on to those. I know my BenQ LCD monitor has pretty crap speakers, a lot crappier sounding than these, but um, I don't know if this will fit inside that monitor. Not enough room. Oh, well, I'll hold on to them and start tweeter upgrades. That'll be good for that. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.